Jamaica McCarthy Hartford died when she was only 26 years old. Worst of all, neither she nor her family saw it coming. Just a few hours after she got married, she changed a lot. In December 2017, the story begins. It was supposed to be a time that McCarthy Hartford and her family would remember fondly in the future, but that's not how things turned out. That's because McCarthy Hartford died suddenly that month and left her family in a terrible state. Now let's get back to the story. Worse still, McCarthy Hartford's wedding was on December 10th. No one could have guessed what would happen as she walked down the aisle in her white dress. The wedding pictures don't even hint at what was to come. On a beautiful sunny day on New Zealand's Wangaparoa Peninsula, McCarthy Hartford married her boyfriend, Alastair. The pictures showed that the ceremony took place outside and that her family and friends were there to watch with happiness. The bride's family said that she was so happy to be getting married and they said the whole ceremony was a happy, loving time. But sadly, something bad was just around the corner. But at that time, they didn't know it. The newlyweds' happiness didn't last long at all. McCarthy Hartford began to feel sick in the middle of the ceremony. And it wasn't like she could just take some medicine and keep on celebrating. Things were much worse than that. McCarthy Hartford died just a few hours after she said her wedding vows. Her family, friends, and most of all her husband were all very sad. They had no idea what was going to happen, and the speed with which the bride was taken was the most shocking thing. McCarthy Hartford was not in a car accident or had a heart attack. Instead, the bride was killed by a very serious illness that took her life just hours after she started to feel sick. Doctors confirmed that she had gotten a bacterial infection, which was very sad. Even though she died quickly from an infection, it was likely caused by an endococcal disease. Her husband was, of course, left in a state of shock. In December 2017, her heartbroken husband told the New Zealand Herald that she died suddenly of a horrible disease. He said that everyone was shocked by her death. To lose her so quickly makes it very hard to deal with. Even her family was upset about the laws. They said she was the kindest heart in the world, that she loved life, and that she had always put others ahead of herself. She was loved by her husband, children, grandchildren, sister, niece, cousin, and friends. They said that she would always be missed. McCarthy Hartford's mother also used social media to talk about her views on the law. She wrote on Facebook that her beautiful firstborn daughter, Jamie, was taken from her father with Katja Kingi and her just hours after she married the man she loves. It seemed like the most difficult thing for McCarthy Hartford's family was how very quickly she died. But when a person has meningococcal disease, they often get very sick very quickly. In fact, it often kills people within a few hours of the first signs. Even though the first signs of meningococcal disease are often mistaken for the flu, you shouldn't ignore them because they can quickly get worse. To start, people who have it might have headaches, fever, nausea, and vomiting, among other things. Everyone was shocked when McCarthy Hartford's symptoms came on all of a sudden. The Auckland Regional Public Health Service is looking into what happened to her and her family is also helping. They hope to stop bacteria from spreading by stopping the spread of germs. The sad family then had to plan a funeral, which was a hard thing to do. The family set up a fundraising page to try and get some help with the costs. And it looks like the people of New Zealand were moved by their sad story. Over the course of a month, people gave the family more than 50 Australian dollars, which is about $4,040. Over 100 kind people gave money to the cause, which helped the family in what must have been a very hard time for them financially. McCarthy Hartford was full of life and cared about people. She cared deeply about everyone who was a part of their lives in any way. We are having trouble understanding what happened, but we need to work together to help the family read the statement on the fundraising page. Some kind strangers heard the family's pleas and gave them money so that they could give their precious girl a proper funeral. The account to raise money for her funeral has been closed. The story of McCarthy Hartford is a very sad one. The couple's wedding day was supposed to be the best day of their lives, but it turned out to be a nightmare. But in the future, her story will help others recognize the signs of meningococcal disease quickly before it's too late.